name's Chris Anderson. I work for Symmetry in the UK and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can automate certain design checks within our Vault workflows. The way we're going to do this, we're going to use Navigate Vault, uh, which is an extension for Autodesk Vault, uh, which is available from Symmetry in the UK and CatCube. So let's take a look at Navigate first of all. Um, we've seen in the past that Navigate can create secondary file formats, can output uh, bills and materials information to ERP, and can do property updates. The other thing we can do in, as, uh, with Navigate is to use it as a platform to generate our own uh, actions, uh, which we can then apply as part of our workflow. So you can see here that out of the box, we're going to get a custom action that runs an iLogic rule. And I've just right clicked and said add new iLogic rule and filled in an iLogic rule on my computer. Um, this iLogic rule is one that I've generated that um, looks at my drawing. It checks the, temp the, the title block on my drawing and checks it against the template title block. If it sees a difference, it copies the title block from the template into my drawing and uses that instead. This is a method we've used with various clients where they have old uh, drawings that, are, that need updating or where um, we just want to do a check um, because we don't know in the future whether a title block is updated. If we get a contractor in, he may not know what title block they're meant to be using. And so we can write a rule to be able to do these checks. Obviously, these checks want to either be, we want to be able to be able to run these manually or run them as part of a workflow. So we can do that in Navigate Vault using action sets. And action sets just let me schedule when we can run one or more actions within uh, our vault. So you can see here I've already generated one. So under drawings, I've right clicked and said I want a new action set. And I've just filled in the properties. So I've filled in the name, I've filled in that I want it to be manually executed. I can fill in that I'll uh, instead of just manual only, uh, I want it to be able to be run on, say, the release date, or maybe I want it to run on a particular life cycle between a particular state and another state. In this case, just to keep it simple, I'm just going to manually run it. Whenever we are running a, a, an action set, we can set the job priority so we can say whether this action takes priority over other actions within the job queue and the other thing that we're able to do is run certain checks or certain tasks on our client rather than on the uh, job processor okay so maybe this custom action I don't want to run on the client maybe I want it to run on the job processor I can take this remove it go down to the job processor find my custom action in here, which is swapping the title blocks and add that in, and I can make sure that that's running first. Okay, so I've now got two actions. We're going to swap the title blocks, update it, uh, update the drawing, and then we're going to update the visualization within Vault as well. So I'm going to hit OK to that. That saved that uh, configuration to the Vault. I'm going to fire up my Vault. I'm also going to fire up my job processor. So you can see the job processor is idle there. And once we're in Vault, I'm going to just navigate to a drawing. So I'm going to pick from this folder here, this drawing of a separator vessel. And if I look at the DWF of it, we can see the current title block within there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click on this. Um, I can either right click on this or more likely, I'm going to change this to a quick change state. Okay, that just unlocks it for editing. Now, because I'm running these tasks on the job processor, the job processor account has got permissions to make that change on release. But to be honest, I want to capture that uh, in a more auditable fashion. So I want to show that I've actually moved it out of release, made a change, and then put it back again. So we moved this to, so in here, what we're going to do, I'm going to right click, I'm going to run a custom action. So I'm not going to bother running the, the action set, I want to show it separate actions to start with. And I'm going to 
run this swap that I've got from template. I'm going to run it on my client rather than send it to the job processor. So I want to run this straight away. So what Naviate will do is it will download the files to my little drive, run the iLogic rule on it, and then pull that data back into Vault again. There we are, now it's done. We just close this window, hit F5, and you can see that the visualization or well, the thumbnail is updated. When I click on it, there's no preview. Again, like I could do before, I go to action sets, generate a new visualization, or if I go to generate files, I've got an option there to generate a new visualization directly. Again, I could send this rather than do it on the client, I could send it to the job processor so that can happen in the background. Okay, now that's done, let's just refresh our vault window. We should be able to now see the preview of that new uh, title block in the drawing. We can see there's a small conflict there, but obviously uh, that uh, could be picked up in your manual checks. Uh, again, we run it on one file if we wanted to. We can do a search for DWG, and pick up all the drawings in our vault, and we could, if we wanted to, select a section of the selection of these. And again, at any point, we can run custom actions, action sets, or generate various files, secondary files on these. So I could come in and I can say straight away. All these drawings swap the title block or do that check for me okay i hope that's been useful and watch out for more navigate videos in the future